morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video we are here in uh, Namibia at the Bergstorp farm uh, we are going today to uh, Sesrim to the red dunes of Namibia and we are also going to uh, visit the uh, Duisip uh, castle so yeah I hope you enjoy this video after a really good night's rest, we were ready to get on our way again, further up to Sesrim. All the bikes still needed to get filled up, so they first all went ahead to Matahoe. Bergsdorf and Matahoe are both located in the Hardup region. Matahoe is a larger town situated approximately 40 kilometers north of Bergsdorf. The region around Bergsdorf and Matahoe is very rich in cultural heritage. The local communities, including the Nama and Herero people, have a deep connection to the land and maintain their traditional way of life. While Bergsdorf itself is a small secluded settlement with limited amenities, Matahoe offers more services and facilities for visitors. You'll find a range of accommodations in Amatahoi, catering to different budgets and preferences. The town also has restaurants, shops, fuel stations and other essential services to cater to travelers' needs. We had some time to wait for the bikes to return from Amatahoi before we continued on to Duisip Castle. So from here we are turning to go to the Duisip Castle. Got to see a little bit what this castle is about. Also myself never been to uh, Duisip Castle. I'm a little bit curious what the, how it looks like. The Duisip Castle was commissioned in the early 1900s by Baron Hans Heinrich von Wolf, a German officer who had served in the German colonial forces as a private residence for himself and his American-born wife, Jaita Humphreys. He dreamed of creating a grand estate that would resemble the castles of his homeland with an architectural style predominantly influenced by the German New Renaissance style. It features elements such as turrets, battlements and a central courtyard. The castle is a historic landmark located approximately 70 kilometers east of Matahui. The name Duisip means black sheep because of the caracal sheep that was bred around here at the time. The castle is set within a large estate that covers an area of approximately 15,000 hectares. The castle has three floors and a basement. It consists of several rooms, including a dining room, bedrooms, a kitchen, a library and a ballroom. Although Duisip Castle was intended as a grand residence, it was never completed due to the outbreak of World War I and the subsequent departure of Baron van Wolf. He died in action in France in 1916. In the 1980s, the government of Namibia, with assistance from Germany, undertook the restoration of Duisip Castle. The restoration aimed to preserve the historic site and convert it into a museum as it represents the German colonial period in Namibia and the aspirations of the early settlers. The museum showcases artifacts, photographs and displays that depict the lifestyle of the German settlers and the cultural context of the era. In addition to the museum, Duisip Castle offers a unique accommodation experience for visitors. The castle's interior has been converted into a guest house, allowing guests to spend the night in one of the castle's rooms and experience a taste of its intriguing history firsthand. Over there in the distance there is also some more houses. That was also houses for the laborers and the servants in the house. I really enjoyed visiting the Duisip Castle. It was a very interesting experience. 
I'm sure everyone else also enjoyed the ride here and learning about Namibia's colonial history. We then had a stopover at the only gas station and restaurant in Beta for lunch. We're here in a little village of Beta. Yeah, it's also basically a little farmer's village with a gas station and a restaurant and a hotel and a bit of uh, sheep farming. We're still on our way to the Sisrim Canyon where we're going to be staying tonight and tomorrow we'll be going to the red sand dunes of the Naukluf National Park. We had a little stop before the turn off to Sesrim to admire the landscapes of the Naukluf National Park. This is the eastern edge of the park. Behind those mountains to the west is a sea of red sand dunes which we will be visiting tomorrow. This is the Namib Naukluf Park. Also the largest park national park in Namibia and also in Africa. It's almost 60,000 square kilometers. You have the Naukluft Mountains. The area where we are going to is called Sesrim because of the Sesrim Canyon in the park which was formed by the Chauhab River that flows down from the Naukluft Mountains into the desert. We made it to the Dead Valley Lodge here at the Sesrim Canyon and at the dunes in the Naukluf National Park. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was quite a long way. We went to the Duisip Castle, we went to visit Beta. The road was quite hard, so guys was going pretty slowly. No pressure. Everybody's here safely, which is the most important. And, uh, yeah, now we can uh, spend some time here and enjoy. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow is going to be another exciting day. Good video to come. So, uh, if you do like my video, just uh, like this video, and then uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.